Today we're going to be working on uh, probability invo involving three methods, which is the two-way table, the Venn diagram, and the tree diagram. So let's go ahead and start with answering probability using the two-way table. Now, in this probability question, we have a survey on gender and ear piercings. And from a large group of college students, it shows that 19 out of the 90 males that was surveyed were... Uh, or have ear piercings and 84 out of the 88 females have ear piercings. Now the probability questions that we're going to answer is that we need to find the probability that the student selected is a male with ear piercing. Now to be able to answer this probability question better we need to visualize the given data by organizing it in a two-way table. So we have two um, competing or two um, variables in this experiment, which is of course the gender and ear piercing. So we have the male and the female students and of course if they have ear piercings or no ear piercings. Now from the given data, we know that 19 out of 90 have ear piercings and for the female, 84 out of the 88 have ear piercings. So that means the complement of each of those group would be the students who don't have ear piercings. So for the male um, sample, we have 71 students who don't have ear piercings and four of the female that were surveyed have no ear piercing. Now we need to complete our um, two-way table by adding up our uh, columns. So 19 plus 84 would be the sum of the students with ear piercings and uh, the sum of the students without the ear piercing is 75 for a total of 178. So this is now the complete two-way table that we have and now that we have a completed two-way table we can now answer the probability question which is to select a student from this sample who happens to be male with ear piercing. So let's call this particular event as event A, which is male with ear piercing. And to find the probability of event A, we need to, of course, find the number of students who happens to be male with ear piercing. And in this case, this is the column of the male column, and this is the row for ear piercing. And its intersection is 19, which means 19 of the male students that were surveyed happens to have ear piercing. And uh, our sample size here will still be 178 because we're supposed to select a student from this sample that happens to be a male with ear piercing. So our probability of A is equal to 0 0.1067 based on the two-way table, which gives us a conclusion that there's 10.67% chance that a student that was selected will be a male with ear piercing. So this is how we use the two-way table to answer the first probability question. Now let's say we have another probability question based on this two-way table and we're looking for a student from this sample who happens to be a female or has ear piercing. So to um, answer this second probability quest question, let's call this event B, which is female or ear piercing or students who have ear piercing. And in our two-way table, the outcome that is considered to be the number of success for event B would be 84 and four, because those are the number of students who happens to be female and uh, who happens to have ear piercing would be 84, which is also already included, and the 19 males with ear piercing. So our numerator or the event or number of success would be 19 plus 84 plus 4 all over the sample size of 178. So the probability of selecting a student who happens to be or a student selected is a male or has ear piercing would be 0 0.6011. So the probability of that happening is 60.11%.
So this is how we use um, the two-way table in answering probability questions similar to what we have presented in this example. Now let's go ahead and work on the second method which is the Venn diagram. So for the Venn diagram problem, we're going to be using this particular formula for probability which is the formula for pro finding the probability of A union B which is P of A plus P of B minus the intersection of the probability of A and B. Now for this experiment, we are presented with uh, the percentage of people who reads USA Today and New York Times. Now in this apartment complex, 40% of the residents read USA Today and 25% read the New York Times. Now 5% of residents read both the New York Times and uh, USA Today and suppose we select a resident of the apartment complex at random based on this condition let's answer the following probability questions starting with constructing a Venn diagram that will represent our percentages and for letter B we're going to find the probability that the person reads at least one of the two newspapers that was given in the experiment and letter C, we need to find the probability that the person doesn't read any of those paper. So let's go ahead and construct the Venn diagram for this experiment. So in this experiment, we know that we can uh, label or define event A as the percentage of residents who reads USA Today, which happens to be 40%. And event B would be the percentage of residents who reads New York Times, which is 25%. And we're also given another condition that is 5% of the residents read both USA Today and New York Times. Now, to represent the Venn diagram, we have the group of residents who reads USA Today and the group of, I mean, yeah, group, group of residents who reads New York Times. And the intersection would be the group of residents who read both newspapers. And we know that 5% of them reads both USA Today and New York Times. Now we're going to partition our percentages for USA Today and New York Times because we already have its intersection. Therefore, only 35% of the residents read only USA Today and 20% of the surveyed resident reads New York Times. So this is how we are going to represent the Venn diagram for this particular experiment. And since we have the Venn diagram for this experiment, now let's answer letter B, which is to find the probability that the person reads at least one of the two newspapers, which is USA Today and New York Times. So we're going to be using the formula for the probability of A union B, which is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. So in this case, all we have to do is to plug in the given value in our word problem. So to find the probability that a person reads at least one of the two newspaper would be 0.40 plus 0.25 minus 0.05, which is the intersection of event A and event B. And by using the formula, we'll get 0.60, which means 60% of the residents that is reading the newspaper reads at least one of the two newspaper given in this particular residence. So this is how we use the Venn diagram and the formula to answer probability letter B. And for letter C, we need to find the probability that the person doesn't read either of the newspaper, which is easier to answer because we already know the probability that at least one of the residents read either of the two newspaper. So all we need to do is to get the complement of that probability. So one minus 60%, which is the percentage that we uh, computed a while ago is equal to 40%. So that means 40% of, uh, there's a 40% probability that the person doesn't read either of the New York Times or USA Today. And this is how we present and answer probability in for involving the Venn diagram. Now for the last experiment, we're going to be using 
a tree diagram to be able to answer a probability question for this event. So in this particular experiment, we're going to be working on uh, the percentages of people visiting YouTube or other internet sharing or video sharing sites. Now for the first part of the problem, we have uh, three groups of uh, internet users according to age that were surveyed for this experiment. So uh, um, adults who are 18 and or 18 to 25 or I mean who's 18 and over were asked to um, work on this sur survey and 27% uh, of the people surveyed are 18 to 29 years old and for the second group which is 30 to 49 year old group 45% of them were asked to um, participate in this survey and for the remaining um, group which is the 50 year old and over 28% of them comprised of this particular group so those are the groupings that we have for this particular survey now from this um, experiment the Pew Internet and American Life project finds that from the first group of surveyed individuals only 70% of them visited a video sharing site and for the second group 51% of them um, visited a video sharing site and YouTube and uh, for the third group only 26% of them visited a video sharing site such as YouTube. So that is the second part of our word problem. So to be able to answer the probability question which is do most internet users visit the YouTube and similar sites, we can easily answer this if we have a tree diagram. So let's go ahead and uh, construct our tree diagram by working on the first part of our um, word problem which is the groupings of individuals surveyed in this experiment so here we have three groups we have the 18 to 29 years old we have the 30 to 49 years old and the 50 years old and over so the percentages of people in this group happens to be for the first group we have 27 percent and for the second group we have 45 percent and for the group of 50 years old and over we have 28 percent for of course a total of 100 percent now from this group of uh, surveyed individuals there is another um, set of information that was presented to us which is from this group only 70 percent of them were or had visited the uh, internet sharing site which is YouTube or Vimeo or any other video sharing site so we have the percentages of people who visited and the percentage of people who did not visit any video sharing site so we're only given the percentages of people who visited which is 70 percent and of course its complement would be the percentage of people who did not visit the video sharing site which is 30 percent so this is how the second group of uh, tree diagram or branch of the tree diagram will look like so for the second group we'll have two branches again we have the percentage of people who visited and the percentage of people who did not visit the video sharing site and we are given the 51 percent and its complement of course is 49 percent or the percentages of people who did not visit the video sharing site for this second group and for the last group of uh, of people who were surveyed we know that 26 percent of them visited a video sharing site and 74 percent of them did not visit the video sharing site now going back to the probability question that we're supposed to answer what is the probability or how are we going to figure out if most internet users visit youtube and similar video sharing site and to be able to answer that all we have to do is to uh, add the products of the percentages of people who visited those video sharing sites so we'll have the probability of 0.27 times 0.70 which is the percentage of 
people under uh, the 18 to 29 year old group who visited YouTube and the video sharing site. And of course, 45% times 51% for the second group and 28% times 26% for the third group. And adding them together will give us 0.4913. So this is the probability that the people who participated in this survey happens to visit YouTube and other video sharing sites. So almost 50% of the people surveyed visited the video sharing site based on the percentages given in this particular word problem. And this is how we use the tree diagram and the Venn diagram and the two-way table in answering probability questions given an experiment.